This is Mitchell Zola reporting for Global Medical News Network. Cardiothoracic surgeon Robert Kramer reported his findings on the impact of delaying cardiac surgery by days or weeks after coronary catheterization compared with operating soon after catheterization. Yes, we, we looked at all the patients that we operated on in 2008, and after taking out some of the patients who uh, were emergencies and, and, and dialysis and other things, we were left with over 600 patients that we looked at, some of whom had heart catheterization and the same admission as the surgery, and some of whom had heart catheterization um, and a prior admission. We found a striking difference in the incidence of acute kidney injury. Those who had the hospitalization separately, only a third of those patients had acute kidney injury, as opposed to over half of them in the group where they had the calf and the surgery of the same admission. And the uh, significance of that is the acute kidney injury is known to be correlated with patient survival over the years subsequent to their surgery, correct? Absolutely. We've done a number of, of analyses in our database that has shown that the long-term survival is compromised when the patient has a small rise in the creatinine after, after cardiac surgery. The creatinine is a surrogate for what's really going on at the, at the, at the cellular level in the kidney. Uh, and, and the implications of that injury are significant. As a matter of fact, when we looked at patients over five years, we found almost a 15% difference in survival between those patients who had acute kidney injury, post-operative cardiac surgery, and those who didn't. Yes, and so the message seems to be from these data, although it's somewhat preliminary in that it's a, from a single center so far, but that um, if it's possible, if uh, medically possible for the patient to delay the surgery following the cath by a few days or weeks even, um, then that should lead to better survival in patients. That's exactly right, but it needs to be taken in context. You need, we need to understand that there are compelling reasons to operate on somebody during the same admission. They may have had a recent heart attack, they may have very tight, uh, they may have very threatening, life-threatening anatomy, uh, they may have an acute syndrome that really does mandate surgery during the same admission. So in balance, it's better to have the operation in those patients. They're considered urgent. For Global Medical News Network, this is Mitchell Zoller.